Hello, everybody. My name is Karen Boss, and I'm a senior editor at Charles Bridge Publishing. And I am so thrilled to be here today with Astrid, who is the author of a new picture book that is coming soon. Astrid, can you introduce the title of your book and your name and a little more about you? Hi, everyone. I'm Astrid or Astrid Kamalian. I'm so excited to talk about my picture book today. It's Babo, A Tale of Armenian Rock Washing Day, coming out on September 19th, 2023. So let's uh, talk about the book. It's about a group of kids washing rugs. So can you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to write a book about that? It's a happy childhood memory, and I had a very happy childhood growing up in Armenia. And uh, I actually wrote the first draft on a very cold Chicago autumn day. All of a sudden, this very happy image of my childhood memories comes, me and my bubble and my siblings washing rugs together, and it was instant. I knew it. I need to write about it. So. That's excellent. So the word babo means grandmother in the specific um, type of Armenian that you grew up speaking, right? Yes. Yeah, so this uh, this is Artsakh dialect. And I am from Artsakh and all my grandparents are. And my, my wonderful babo, she would speak to us in Artsakh dialect. And for me, this dialect, it's how my happiness and delicious food and love sounds to me. Um, when I want to say something to my kids in a way that sounds very authentic and endearing, I say it in Artsakh dialect because that's a very different and special place for me to be. Um, so in this book, I actually included a few phrases in Artsakh dialect and that what makes the book especially delicious for me as I read it to my kids. You know, I hear all these words and I hear my grandma's voice um, and all the things that she said to us and the way she would address us. She would say, Mataganim, which means my dear, you know. Oh, that's lovely. So your book has a group of kids in it and it's a little girl, Tato, and then her siblings and then a friend from nearby. And they're working together with this older woman to do a very sort of difficult task actually, right? So can you talk about the joy in the book and, and how you think that this will resonate with kids around doing chores with family? If you talk to the kids who grew up in the 90s Armenia, that's what all of us shared, a very joyful childhood. But the reality of it was I grew up in a post-war Armenia and we didn't have access to basic resources. I mean, things like water, electricity and gas we only had for a couple hours a day. And sometimes we would only have water at midnight for two hours. However, we were surrounded with so much love and joy, such strong family connections and such a strong sense of community in general that it created this sense of joy that I took into my life. And I think nobody can ever take it away from me. So. That is what I wanted to express in this book. That's wonderful. And I think that it's important really appreciating not only the end of the day where your mom gives you a, a delicious snack, but also the middle of the day when you're working hard at something and you're doing it well, right? And the mm -hmm. idea that you're old enough now to participate in this cool thing too. Oh, yeah. It was always, like you said, a cool thing. None of this we ever perceived as anything but play. I mean, we always thought, oh, my God, rug washing. This is our favorite thing. Now, as I talk about the book with my community and I meet other Armenians, I have not met a single person who doesn't say, oh, my God, rug washing was one of my favorite things to do. And we did so much work that could be perceived as work by grown-ups or boring people. Like we would wash the wool and then we would beat it and help it dry. I mean, it was hard work. Washing wool for your mattresses, come on. Nobody does that here. But we, for us, it was just play. A lot of things are just play for kids, and that's what makes it so fun for them and joyful and how they learn, actually. That's wonderful, Astrid. It's just been so fantastic to work with you to make this book come to life. And so can you talk a little bit about, um, we were so lucky to get a Nate on board as the illustrator. Oh and goodness. Can you talk a little bit about your reaction to the illustrations and her work? So Anahit, 
her illustrations are sunshine on a page. You open the book, the sun shines through it. I mean, just look at that. It's, this is one of my very favorite spreads. I, I don't know how I got so blessed and lucky. <laughs> I was her fan for so many years before I even knew I would ever get published. Um, I was following her on Instagram. And when the contract for this book came, um, I asked my wonderful agent, uh, Karen Grantic, I said, is it like, there's a wonderful Armenian illustrator. I would really love the illustrations to be authentic. I know that authors don't normally have a say. But this time, it was very important for me, especially that it was after the war in Armenia. I really wanted to represent my culture. I can't imagine it being anybody else. Like it, She is as perfect. And she, as a person, I mean, we got to talk a little. She's such a wonderful, positive, and kind person that all of that beautiful energy is on the page. So one last question. What do you want kids and grown-ups to after they read your book what do you want them to kind of come away with what do you want the most important thing that they take from your book to be i want them first and foremost to experience the immense joy of being welcoming in an armenian family i only put one friend character and three sibling characters in a book but in reality we're five siblings and every time we'd sit down at the dinner table, we would never know how many people there are gonna be because all of our friends completely randomly, they didn't need any special invitations, would come over and my grandma would cook for all of them these delicious dinners. I want them to take away this sense of being welcome and being celebrated and just feel warm and happy and safe wherever they are. That's excellent. So do you have any last things you wanna say before we close out? Oh, just, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you check it out. It's called Babo, A Tale of Armenian Rug Washing Day, coming out in September, 2023. I hope you get to really enjoy this very ancient tradition and uh, I hope it will be a little more tangible for you now.